We want to welcome you today to our daily devotion time. We're in the book of Philemon, and today we're going to be looking at verses 10 and 11. Onesimus, who was begotten, born again. Before we do, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for this day that you have granted unto us. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of sharing your holy word. Lord, for to be able to unpack just a nugget of the richness of who you are. Bless my people in the name of Christ. Amen. Now, Paul had led Onesimus. We know Onesimus was a slave. Now, he had led him to the Lord. And I want us to remember now, Paul was in prison. So how then did Paul come in contact with Onesimus? Was Onesimus uh, recognized as a runaway slave while in Rome and maybe imprisoned himself? Probably not. Uh, he could, I don't think so because I, if he was, I believe he would have been a, a prisoner also. But he had returned and he was moving about freely. And, and now as we see Onesimus, he's standing in front of Philemon uh, who was before his owner. Now when Onesimus reached Rome, he had more than likely come across some Christians. And these Christians befriended him like we should do with everybody. And introduced him to Christ, introduced him to Paul, and then I think Paul was probably the one who actually uh, led him to the cross. Now, Paul didn't pull any punches. He readily admitted the wrong that Onesimus had done. He said he had been unprofitable. That is, he, you know, Onesimus, you've been kind of useless. Sounds kind of harsh, but true. The idea is absolutely of no use, just good for nothing. But now he says he's profitable because he says it has accepted Christ and was of the greatest use to, to Philemon and to Paul. For what reason? For the kingdom of Christ. So how can we look at this and how that it would apply today? Jesus Christ changes lives, does he not? I know he changed mine. He could take a useless, unprofitable, good-for-nothing person and make the most useful, most profitable, good person imaginable. Jesus Christ can take absolutely nothing and make something out of that person, no matter how low that person may be, how far that person may have sunk, how far that person has gone no matter what that person has done. Jesus Christ can change a person, hallelujah. Make him the most useful person in the world. How? Jesus Christ takes a person and creates him anew, brand new. Christ gives that person a new birth, makes him a new creature, a new man out of that person. John chapter 1, it says, But as many as received him, what did he say? To them he gave power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believed on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of the man, but of God. Now, when we think upon these things, I want us to ask ourselves some questions. And let's start out with something like this. When Christ came into your life, what were some of the biggest changes, or maybe you could maybe just say, what was the biggest change that you noticed? Then how does Jesus Christ continue to bring change in your life? Why do you sometimes resist change? Because we do. And how will others know that you are changing? Now, 
in uh, theology lingo, we, we call this transformation, but it's, it's just changing. How will others know? How do they see that change taking place in your life? Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've given us. We thank you, Lord, for this passage here in Philemon. Help us, Lord, to take some time to process what it actually means to us as an individual and how that we can apply this to our life so that we might grow in this transformation process. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen.